Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain in Windows application how to connect PostgreSQL database and display records into a grid view, data grid view control. I will check the final output. Click start. See so here we got the output. The records are displaying in this data grid view control from this PostgreSQL database. The table name is a student. These are the three columns. Student ID, student name and email is displaying in this data grid view control in Windows form application. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in Windows application, first we'll check the table in PostgreSQL database. The table I have selected for this example is a student which contains three columns, student ID, student name and email. Now my aim is I want to connect this database in Windows application. After that I want to fetch this record from the student table and display in a data grid view control. So let's write the coding part. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new project, Windows project, come to the bottom and select here the Windows Forms application and click next. Let's give the project name is PostgreSQL Data Grid View is my application name and I'm saving this application in this Windows Forms tutorial D drive. The .NET framework I'm using 4.7.2. Click create. And here we got our Windows Form 1 designing page. Now first, I want to connect the PostgreSQL database. So we require the, uh, the DLL library of the PostgreSQL database. For that in the project, notice there is a references folder. Right click that one. Go to manage budget packages. And you can see the browser here, select that one and search for NPG SQL. And from the search results, I'm selecting the first option, the version I'm installing 4.1.3.1. Click install. Click OK. Let's accept the license. And notice here the download button is showing green color, which means our DLL library is installed successfully. Let's check in the references folder in our application. Notice here the NBG SQL. The library is installed successfully. So after adding the DLL library in our project references folder, next let's close this first Nudget package window. We'll add one data grid view control in this form on design page. For that open toolbox. In the data, notice there is a data grid view control. Double click that one. And here we got our data grid view. Let's expand minimum and let's the data grid view control. Now after that, I click the mouse, go to view code, and here we got the code behind window. First, let's add the package npg sql which we have installed the library. Then then here the coding part is npg sql connection class i'm adding con is equals to new npg sql connection this connection takes a parameter string parameter is a connection string so the the connection string we are getting from the postgresql database so first parameter i'm adding the server is equals to switch to the database Notice the PostgreSQL tool, the root folder, select that one, right click the mouse, go to properties. In the properties, there is a connection tab, select that one. Here you can find our connection properties. The first one is a host name address, which is nothing but a server name. Just copy that local host and paste here, semicolon. After that, uh, the second thing is, the uh, second parameter is a port number. The port number is... 5432 copy that one and paste here after that we require the database also the database is equals to the table i have created the student table in this charan database so add the charan database the database name is 
then they will record the user id is equals to to find out the user id again switch back to this connection properties what is the username here this is a postgres copy that one and paste here and the last parameter i'm adding the password is equals to password one two three close with semicolon after that after that let's open the connection string with the open method then we require the um, sql command npg sql command com is equals to new npg sql command let's add the command dot connection object is equals to con com dot command type is equals to command type dot text then com dot um, we'll add here the command text here the command text is equals to our select statement so select start from the table name is the table name is let's close this window student after adding the sql query next thing will add npg sql data reader i'm reading the data reader dr is equals to command dot execute reader method then if the records are found in the student database table so if dr dot has rows has rows then data table is equals to new data table the rows i want to display in uh, adding into this dd object now let's load dt dot load method i'm loading the dr the data reader object after that once the data is loaded into this data table i'm adding this data object to this data grid view control so let's add the data grid view one uh, data grid view one data grid view one which is the id of the data grid view dot data source is equals to dt and the final step let's close the connection dispose i'm first i'm disposing the command then i'm closing the connection string with a close method that's it we have done the complete coding part i will check the final output click start see here we got the output the records are displaying in this data grid view control from this postgres sql database the table name is a student these are the three columns student id student name and email is displaying in this data grid view control in windows form application that's it.